<laughs> hey, cute boy. <gasps> Miss Nala's out too. I assume you're still waiting on breakfast. For us to be that chatty. Goodness, <laughs> sir. Rare. Rare, rare. Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Please take a second and share this live feed. This is going to be my last live for a whole week. So I'm going to try and see lots of cats. I wasn't going to even start this up till I got in a different area of the sanctuary than I keep showing, but as I was walking down this uh, street here, all I could hear and see were servals, so that tells me they might still be waiting on breakfast, or I don't know. I don't know, because it looks like Kimba's over there eating. So that was Ginger and Hutch doing all kinds of talking. Got a glimpse of Nala in the background, even. Oh, I thought she might come back up. Hi, Nala Bean. Hi, pretty girl. Miss Nala. Well, yeah. What are you saying? What? What? <laughs> Nala, you're too cute. You're too cute. Where are your breakfast people? <laughs> and then the hissing. I don't think we've seen Zucari a lot recently. Not since he had his Zoomy Fest. So let's go say hi to Zukari as we continue walking. Hi Zuzu! What you doing handsome? Oh, I hiss. I hiss but I show you my belly. why you servals are so confusing. <laughs> so confusing. So again, please take a second, share this, tag your friends and family. This will be my last live for a whole week. I believe Afton might be doing a fundraiser Friday this week though, because I don't think it was last week. She's trying to do every other week to offset Kristen and Amanda's Catterday lives. And I think they did do one last week. So should look for a live with Afton on Friday. Goodness sakes. If you guys joined in just now and you already missed all of the Hutch conversation and the Nala conversation, you'll definitely want to rewatch this from the beginning. But I was hoping to make this a nice long live. I do have to get to a staff meeting in about an hour, but I'll fill as much of that time as I can with kitties doing weirdo things. <laughs> yes. It's actually very helpful to us that Zukari rubs and rolls like that because he was sadly fully declawed, which means he needs help getting those mats off of his neck. All right. I gotta go back and close the gate I came in. So, another chance to see Nala. Hi, Nala! You're so silly. You're, you're so silly. You're such a silly girl. You're so pretty, though. Look how darn pretty Nala is. Yes, you are. Oh. You were making cuter noises earlier. Cuter noises earlier. Yeah, it's super, s yeah, hi. You wanna tell your story? You're the prime, prime story, just like everyone else in this row. Servals tend to be looked at as if they could be pets and they 
They are very much not good pets. Should not be kept as pets. So that's why we have a whole strip of <laughs> servals. We have Zucari, we have Nala, we have Hutch, we have Ginger, and we have Dez, and then we have Alethea. She's just out in Funcation. Every single one of them, to our knowledge, was in private possession, either being kept as a pet or to breed more pets. So it's very sad. Zukari came in with my buddy, Cyrus, and Miss Chaos. All three of them fully declawed. So sad. It's so sad. So sad. Miss Kali is finishing breakfast. She got to get every last drop. Every last drop. We hung out with Kali a couple days ago, though. Had a really good live with her. She's just in her feeding lockout, <laughs> hugging her plate. Hugging that plate so you can get every last drop. <laughs> She's so cute. So... My goal is to get over there in that middle section, maybe see the Bobcat boys. I'm wearing my summer shirt today, so I'd like to go see summer. We'll just see who's out and about as we walk through the tiger area. It's already pretty warm here, so it's going to be another hot day. I'm trying to think of any updates. Uh, Priya has been doing some <laughs> very Priya things. She loves food, but when medication is involved in food, she can be very picky. So she has been giving the morning meds people all kinds of <laughs> issues. And so Afton decided to cut her five really huge pills into 20 small pieces and then stuff them in capsules and basically spoonful after spoonful <laughs> she took every single piece yesterday so I think that's what Afton is attempting again today so I'm hopeful that this process will work I think she's supposed to be on a medication for 10 days and her first three days were really tough. So hopefully, knock on wood, smooth sailing from there. Um, Gilligan still eating well. He's still a little wobbly from day to day. Some days he's kind of seems real unstable almost. Let me get rid of these vultures. Get these vultures away from our girl. You get away from Aria. Get those gross birds out of here. Get those gross birds away from our Maxie and our Aria. Hi, honey. Hi, babe. Ooh. Hi, sweetheart. Are you talking to Max? Are you talking to Max over there? Ooh, you come say hi. Oh, that was very juicy. Thank you for that. <laughs> I guess I'd rather moisture come at me from the front of them than the back of them. <laughs> you see in that Maxie over there. Say hi, Max. <laughs> so Max Tiger is the one in the background. Ari is the one that just strolled away from us. They are not in the same cage, but they are connected by a tunnel. And they do hang out from time to time. Hi, Maxie! <laughs> Handsome. Oh, thank you for that, Chuff. Thank you for that, Chuff. Yeah, so I've heard it is just absolutely crazy that in parts of the country, they're expecting a lot of snow and ice again when it's been in the 80s basically every day again down here I'm just really 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 feeling bad for anyone and everyone who is coming to Florida for this race weekend I'm going to 
from elsewhere because it's gonna be a shock. Like, I just, ooh, I'm really worried about people, honestly. The heat and humidity, they better be hydrated. <laughs> Hi, mister. Can we just get one good, like, up close maxi? <laughs> Probably not. Did you come back? Did you come back? Hi. <laughs> I was chasing vultures away. Strutting in front of her, her keepers. Oh, thanks, Maxie. <laughs> I'm even personally really worried about how hot it's going to be this weekend for the races, and I have been training here the whole time, so I'm a little nervous. A little nervous, Maxie. I know. This is your morning path, morning routine. Gotta always say hi to Aria. <laughs> Get rid of these vultures. Yeah. And the vultures come in waves. We don't always have vultures around. It seems to coincide with whatever the farmer is doing next door. Hi, Jazz. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. I will be honest, I have not been watching. I've been watching where I'm walking and what cat is in front of me. Miss Jasmine, just doing some grooming. After breakfast. I think the only other cat that we're kind of keeping an eye on talking about within the vet group is Mr. Moses. Moses, you guys know, is our eldest bobcat here. He's about 21 years old. Um, he has had a spat of cancer previously. He's gotten a lot less mobile, a lot more unsteady, um, but He's still got a great appetite. He's still getting around. So we've just been working on getting some video of him um, to send to Dr. Justin. But nothing really new on that front. That's kind of been a thing for a while. So I want to go over and try to see Summer before she gets settled in her ferns, hopefully. Maybe some misses. Maybe we can check in with Gilligan and the boys. Always gotta look and see if there's a lovey as I come by. Although we got a really good view of lovey last week. The only other update I have, and I got video of it yesterday morning that I will um, send to Lawana for probably Facebook Reels. I'll also be posting it as a Reel on Instagram. But Max and Marianne are reunited. <laughs> they have found each other. I kind of showed that on a live as well, but it was absolutely adorable. I was doing lockouts yesterday because they volunteered 
And what lockouts mean is for all of the big cats, we go around and we actually close the door on their feeding lockout so that when the feeders come around with actual food, the cat is not in the same space that you're dropping the food. Then they open the door and they enjoy breakfast. So with the little cats, anyone who shares the space with another cat, they get separated. So Max and Marianne are supposed to get separated for breakfast. And they were playing so intensely and jumping on all their new platforms and chasing each other around and making the cutest bobcat noises. So I could not separate them. <laughs> and instead I took video because it was really cute. All right, do we have a little girl up here somewhere? Summer, I'm wearing your shirt. It's kind of already humid, so can't see all the way in there. Oh, there she is. Hi, Glennon, what are you stalking? What are you stalking? Hi, pretty, pretty. Hi, little girl. Oh, what are you talking about? She is hissing and spitting at something up there. Did I ruin it? You was stalking something? I, I don't see anything though. Oh Lord, please don't climb the side of that cage. Oh, now I see it. You think you're gonna take on that vulture? That is very brave of you. That is very brave of you. Oh, oh Miss Sassarilla. What was that noise? You think you're gonna get that big old vulture? <sighs> Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, ma'am? That thing's probably three times as heavy as you. Oh, honey. She's like, I will get that. I will get it. I will get it. Oh. Oh, honey buns. Oh, my camera hates your cage. That sucks. Oh, at least I can hear the noises. You was gonna get that bird. You gonna get that bird. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay, I think it flew away. I heard it go. Yeah, part of the reason why you're in such small wire cages so something like that couldn't swoop down and grab yous. You're so tiny. <laughs> oh, honey buns. If I could get you a vulture, I would. No, ma'am, don't start looking at my camera like the next snack. You sound very pterodactyl. Why do you sound like a pterodactyl? I love how even here you found a way to hide in ferns. Even right here. You see that camera, don't you? I love you, baby girl. You're so ferocious. You were so ferocious. You were so ferocious. Is gonna get that bird. Well, today has been a very talkative morning. 
almost all the servals were sounding their alarm. Even Miss Summer bringing out the growls. The growls and the squeaks and the chirps. What you doing, sweetheart? What you doing, sweetheart? Did the bird move over there? Did that bird move over there, pretty girl? Hi! Hi, my little puddin! Feeders are coming back around to pick up anything that anybody left. Summer did not leave anything. <laughs> She's part of the clean plate club. Hi, following. <laughs> She's a zoom in. She's a zoom in. She's a zoom in. You gonna hang out in your favorite spot? This is a good spot, baby girl. Yeah. Say we love our tree trunks around here. They make very good cat beds. Look at that tail. <laughs> into my fern palace. Well, that might be the end of getting to see much of her. <laughs> see if she comes back out. That was super adorable though. I do see a missus out walking around. So... Let's see where she went. Miss Miss! Oh, she's over at her feeding lockout. Hi, Miss Miss! Misses, what you got over there? She's, I think, still working on breakfast. She went in to walk out and grabbed something. Came running back out. What do you got there, lady? She's still wrapping up breakfast. I don't want to distract her too much. You can see she goes over to her lockout. I wonder if there's a bow behind me somewhere. If Mrs. is still eating, Val might have been too, so I don't want to mess with that. Getting too close. Hi, missus. Where are you going? You come say hi? Hi, miss, miss. Hers on a mission. Look at that strut. Look at that strut. Look at that strut, miss, miss. Hi. Beautiful Mrs. Claus. Beautiful Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I think everybody's going to play hard to get now that breakfast is over. How good.
good. She blends in. Look how pretty. All right. If you don't want, if you don't want to hang out, we'll go try to see Gil again. We'll go try to see Gil again. <laughs> Like he has been hanging out on this side quite a bit this morning, or not this morning, in the mornings, but also this morning. <laughs> Hi, Gil. Can I come see my handsome guy? Hi, buddy. I'm going to be gone for a week, so I want to see you. Hi. Hi, bud. Look at that good old boy. Look at that good old boy. Hi, Gil. Thanks for the wink. You going to be very good while I'm gone? You're going to eat your breakfast and your lactulose. You're going to poop when you need to, right? All those things. Yeah, I promise. Be good boy. You be so good. took him a while but he got super fluffy again this year now he's gonna have to work on shedding all that now that it's getting into the 80s every day mr. handsome mr. handsome man oh You look like you're gonna flop over at any minute. Take that nap. What is that? I know, it's those vultures. It's those vultures are very interesting today. Lots of leaves falling from the trees. I feel so bad for Afton. She's been doing her 10 bin challenge and a lot of us have pitched in and helped and it's just a raking frenzy. And over the weekend, we must have had one really good storm to the point or just a wind gust or it's just the weather change happening because essentially everything's covered in pollen now so right before that happened almost every single leaf fell and there are areas where we have thoroughly raked it that looks like we haven't raked it at all <laughs> so that's a little defeating <laughs> Now we're getting sleepy. Oh, not quite yet. Thank you very much if there have been any donations. I did, I have had quite a few people reach out to me and ask about like making a donation to the cats in honor of Mark and I's race. And they're like, you know, maybe like a dollar a mile or just whatever. So if, if anybody wants to do that, I didn't set up anything special, but um, we are running three races this weekend. If that is something you would like to do, you can definitely go to bigcatrescue.org backslash donate. Um, and you can always put a little note that that's what it's for, or you can just donate right here on this Facebook Live. We are running, by the end of the weekend, we will have run 22.4 miles. 
so I don't know if everybody wants to like donate $22 or <laughs> whatever you'd like to do, but I do really appreciate those of you that reached out and asked about that. Um, that's, we were just running for fun, kind of our own personal thing, but at any time I can make that, um, you know, extra wonderful for the cats. I love doing that. So again, if that's something you're inclined to do, maybe donate $22 on this Facebook live. And that will also help me feel less guilty for taking a week away because <laughs> I won't be here to fundraise. And so I will be back on March 1st. So this is my last live for February. I want to make sure you guys know that if you haven't sponsored a cat yet this month, you can still do that. Bigcatrescue.biz. Sponsor any cat you'd like at any price point, and you'll be entered into the drawing at the end of the month. We're doing that each um, month for this year just to give you guys something extra special. So if you love Gilligan and you win this month's drawing, you could get a Gilligan sign. All right, kiddo. Let's see if anybody else is out and about. spend time with Smalls later this afternoon. So, um, let's see. I'm not seeing or hearing Val. Let's go see Cyrus again. Other than chaos, I'm pretty sure I've given everybody decent screen time this week that will allow it. <laughs> I was just talking to Kristen and Amanda about the lowest sponsored cat list and all the various elements of their lives versus my lives and things we could do to help each other out. <laughs> and they have certain cats that they can show off that I can't and vice versa, so. Oh, looks like Mouser's getting breakfast with Afton. Not gonna interrupt that, cause that poor cat, ooh, he takes forever to eat. Absolutely forever. <laughs> so she's ops and helping Ryan coordinate today as well, so. Busy, busy. Here's our Cyrus, front and center. And if you really feel spicy about um, <laughs> wanting to donate in honor of our race, Mark and I are both running, so you could make a $44 <laughs> donation if you want it for both of us. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Hi, I love you. I gonna miss you so much. I gonna miss you so much. Yes. 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 Oh, I like the way you think, Carrie Ann. Yep. If we could do $300, that'd be like $100 per race day. And then I'd feel a lot less guilty about not being here. Although two of those days are my normal days off. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Hi. Did you enjoy breakfast? Was breakfast the best? Who gave you your breakfast? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'll believe that it's, I'll believe that it was someone awesome. Where do you wanna go? Are you back to eating grass too? My goodness sakes, my goodness sakes. All right, kiddo. Well, thank you so much to anybody and everybody donating. I really, really appreciate that. I thought that'd be kind of a fun way for the people that had contacted me about it. And then I was like, you know what, why not? I've put in six months of training, working my booty off. 
but I knew I was going to have to take vacation time to do it. Yeah, and then that means I have to go away. Yeah. It's really hard not to, it's hard enough just to take your normal two days off, but when you take extra, for me anyway, it really, <laughs> it's hard to be away from the kids. Right, kiddo? Yeah. Right. People have also been asking where they can watch and follow along. Mark and I have a blog. That's where I'm going to put everything. Primarily on Instagram. It'll share over to Facebook, but. Right, bud. Yeah. Oh, goodness sakes. Cyrus is like, how about a dollar a trill? I already trilled three times, huh? I have been a little quiet lately, though. Why you been a little more quiet lately? To get your trills out at breakfast? Something sticky on your foot. Right now, everything is growing, 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 including the grass again, and we're getting those little green grass stickies all over everything. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. I know. Since Chaos will never ever come out and let me show her, I just gonna show Cyrus twice. Kularu looks a little saggy there, buddy. <laughs> So again, anybody who wants to sponsor a cat, you can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. That drawing will take place at the end of the month, and then we will start a new prize for March. There will also be new March eBay auctions. So go to bigcatrescue.org slash auction. Make sure you get signed up for that list. Thank you again. I wish I could thank you each and every one of you individually for donating today. I love you guys. You guys make all of this possible. You guys are my therapy group and my safety net and my just warm hug when I need it. So thank you guys very, very, very much. Buddy, where are you going? Let's come over here in the shade. Let's come over here in the shade. Much better. Yeah, then I don't have to worry about my camera getting overheated. Yeah. So while I'm gone, you guys can rewatch lives, including this one today. I highly suggest rewatching from the beginning to hear all of the serval chatter from this morning. And you can find a playlist at bigcattv.com of all of my lives. If you really just want to let them stream, I've been doing these for f almost five years now. There's a ton of backlog live videos at dailybigcat.com as well. Quite a few playlists over there. So thank you guys for all the encouragement. We're very excited. I'm gonna haven't even started packing. I've pretty much have everything I need. It's just all got to go in a suitcase. But my Alice girl kind of pa panics a little bit when she sees the suitcases. So I didn't want to bug her all week with that. <laughs> so that'll be today. All right, love. Say bye-bye. Say bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you. I will be very excited to come see you guys on March 1st when I'll be back on property. So, <laughs> you 
You're so handsome. How do I walk away? I don't want to walk away. Again, thank you guys so much for the support, all the donations for the cats, and I will see you guys very soon. Have a great week. Hey, buddy. You Okay, I was like, do you want the last word? <laughs> all right, guys, take care.